So the purpose of Century's Government Regulatory Affairs team is to serve at the nexus between Century's businesses and the regulatory environment, which involves government actors, policymakers, legislators. The industry is very heavily regulated, so the decisions that legislators and regulators have uh, could disproportionately impact how we do business and how our customers do business. Artificial intelligence and the use of artificial intelligence by insurance companies is a major topic uh, in our world right now. I think Century's view on these issues is very much of allowing innovation uh, to occur organically within the industry and not place undue or unnecessary restrictions on the use of AI by uh, insurance companies. Um, in five years, the use of AI is going to be as uh, standard as email is. Every company is going to be using it in some form or fashion. So we have to continue to make sure that our priorities, again, allowing innovation to occur organically in the industry to be protected and not let um, a lot of fear and mistrust of these technologies overtake sound regulatory um, practices. In fact, we're trying to use AI technology to help augment things we're already doing uh, to be more productive and be more competitive uh, across all of our businesses. It's not zero to 60 that we have a very deliberate and thoughtful plan of how we'll uh, onboard these technologies. So one of the first use cases of AI at Century is to take uh, notes that claims adjusters write and translate that into text. And then that text later can be mined for insights on what's occurring out in the field from a loss perspective. Uh, AI impacts everything, and uh, whether it's claims, marketing, underwriting, uh, you name it, uh, there, there will be a, a use case for artificial intelligence. I think some of the most interesting uh, use cases right now are on the fraud fighting front. So uh, a lot of companies are deploying technologies to catch fraudsters that are trying to use deep fake technologies to impersonate policyholders to get information uh, about a policy so that they can commit fraud. And uh, it's, it's constantly a tit for tat type of uh, back and forth of trying to stay ahead of bad actors um, who are committing insurance fraud.